Hey folks, Taco here. Uh, I've got to do some pest control and a little bit of pruning. So I figured I'd take you guys along for the journey with me. Um, hopefully I'll get this out today. I know it's only been a day since I put out content. Um, so thank you all for coming back, subscribing, commenting. Uh, person out there, Alex. Thanks, mate. I appreciate it. Appreciate you. Uh, and everyone who's still here, all 482 of you, appreciate you. I'll get back to making regular content, like I said, but for now, we got some pest control to do. So, I'm going to bring you a little bit closer in. Got soap and water because these have got some mealies on them. You can kind of see them here. Right there, mealies. So, I'm going to give them a good soaking. I'm doing this, you know. Pretty much the same way that I think everybody does, but where I learned this from was the internet, and where I kind of started doing a good job was when I started watching Nigel's stuff. So this is pretty close to exactly what he does. He does a really good explanation as to how to mix your soap, one to thirty, all that stuff. Um, this is a little bit more, maybe a little bit less. I'm not 100 percent. Instead of being 32 ounces, it's only 16 ounces, um, and I probably only filled up to 15 to begin with. Uh, but just a little bit of soap. Won't hurt the plants. And these are all tropical, so even though they're outside right now, they don't stay outside. So as much as it doesn't seem like the exciting part of bonsai, it is necessary. So I want to leave these for a little bit. In the meantime, one thing that I think a lot of us do just for fun it's just looking at them. Like this one here, I think I can see some scale right down here. Yep, that was scale. But sometimes it's hard to spot because it's similar in color. Um, but you got to take that off and make sure it doesn't go anywhere. And that was just, you know, sitting on the bottom of that leaf. It almost looked like a bud. There's another piece right here. And what I'm told is if you don't get these blisters off, the scale doesn't go anywhere. It's kind of protected underneath that blister. So you have to not pop the blisters, you have to scrape it away. Because that blister is not the bug, it's just a covering over a small, small mite. And they're real tough to see sometimes. You get a little one here, yep. Sometimes they're very, very small. You just gotta take your time. Hope I'm not blocking the camera with my head here, but. You guys can forgive me. I think there's one right here. Yep. See another one on the other side here. Yeah. Now this has been growing pretty slow, and I think part of that's because of the scale. Yeah, I've got a little thing here. Snip off. Just a little piece of dead tree. Um. Yeah, I'm almost certain it's because I've got a lot of scale. Sunlight's a really easy way to get in there and uh, spot it. Of course, I didn't want to do that. This doesn't have that stable load base. Repotted relatively recently, so. And slip potted, not even crazy. Yeah, it's much easier to see on the sunlight than it is indoors. I think I got most of it. I'm not 100% on that. Hot's really well. Move like a little. It'll still be alive. I don't need it. Ooh. I guess I had a little bit of printing. I got a little head stump in the middle here. Let's see if I can do this without just. There we go. That's just a little stump. Always trying to, you know. Sort out any issues with the branches, but right now we're doing this so that the tree can thrive as opposed to just survive. With all the work that we do on these trees, sometimes they do just survive. The more of a head start we can give them, the better. All right, I think I got all the scale off of this one, and it's been a couple minutes. I'm going to go ahead and rinse it. This is just like he does a little bit of fertilizer, a little bit of water. I'm just going to let her rip. Uh, 
this doesn't pour out nearly as much water as his does. Just a little one I picked up from the store a while back. It does do a really good job of rinsing and getting everything out of there, so. Wait until I can run out the bottom. I can waste a little bit of fertilizer and making sure this thing's healthy. All right, see it coming out the bottom? This guy's good to go. That's all the pruning I can do because it's not really ready to be pruned. Set that to the side. I'm outdoors, so that helps. All right. <sighs> I'm just going to check this one here as well for scale. This one definitely had mealies on it. I need to make sure it didn't have scale. I think it does. You can see a blister right here. It might be an old dead blister. It's got to come off. I will have to do this again for this tree. This one I can see. I've got a little stub down here i got to take off. Couple of those. This one had a rough summer, but it survived. That might be all the scale I had, which is good. Don't want to have scale. Oh, I see stuff up here. All right. Give that another quick spray. I can see a bit of scale right here. Take that off. Or should I? And it's fighting chance. I'm hoping that's it. So I'm going to give this one a rinse too. I don't want to leave the soap on too long. I really want to make sure I've got any kind of stuff that's up here out. And I'll rinse the others while I'm at it. Just make sure I've started that process. And the soap doesn't really hurt them, but you gotta take it off after a certain point. Again, this one here. I think this one's actually okay. I didn't notice any scale or mealies on it. Um, I'm just being preemptive. I need a water to prune, as you can probably tell. It's just growing, 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 and I'm gonna run into issues. Uh, run into some issues if I don't start giving out some of these extra branches. So they're all rinsed okay. I'm going to go back after this one and see if I can track down any kind of scale or issues. You know, mealy bugs and the like. I got the stuff out of here that need to come out of here. It's good. I'll wash down a little bit, maybe. It's really good at hiding. I mean, it's not, it's not made it this long and this far. Not being a very good insect or mite at surviving. All right, I think I've got it all. It's time for me to do a little bit of pruning on this thing. So you can see, it didn't grow nearly as well as this one. Part of that might have been the scale. So branches like this, I love them. I'm going to keep them. So this little growth underneath here. And then this little growth inside here, if you can see it. A little bit good started. Not in a good place. I do want my branches to come up like a regular tree. This is a little bit of a camp, a little tilt. Um, but I will be repotting at some point, trying to fix that. I believe this is a cutting, why it's so you know bulbous and swollen like this. Take off this little guy here. A little bit more underneath here. Let's see if I can do this without. There we go. All right. This here is kind of a lump. Maybe carved down a little bit. Growth here. Let's run there. Sorting out some of the stuff that doesn't need to be there. So this branch is really taking over and it's most of the tree now. It's not quite what I wanted. And I don't think I'll be able to do much about that. Right now I think I've got all my get. Oof. This tree. Yeah, that wasn't really doing good there. So I'm going to play at this intersection. i got three run from the same place here. Which I don't mind. If it's gonna get really fat. I don't want that. This top one's nice, this side one's nice, this one's not as nice. I don't really need stuff in this corner. I'm gonna go ahead and take off this little side branch here. And quite there we go. So not as nice, not as healthy. But I think I got all the scale off of it. There might have been a piece here, but you know. So that one's gone. 
I think it improves. Or is improved, I should say. I'm going to take off this little new growth because otherwise I'll end up with too much going on there. So as this branch comes out, you can see it splits into three here. Really, a continuation of the branches towards me, and this is all new, so it's nice and vigorous. But this one here is most straight, just a little baby guy, so I'm going to take that off. And then this has been pruned, I believe, but I'm going to print it to this outward facing bud. And over here, ooh, more stuff. I love that it comes out this way. Um, this is coming back towards the center. I don't want it. So it's going to come off. And that's a lot of the tree. But again, I'm trying to be careful here not to get too big of a tree, too. After that, I've just got these. I'm going to take the top off here, keep things coming out, and kind of bring that back down into shape. Now, this top part of that branch is pretty nice. I like it. Pull these again. There, there's some more in here that are kind of tough to reach. Turn it into the same thing over here. So there we go. So either I've pruned it or it's kind of self pruned. All the scale and stuff that's on it. Ooh. Okay. As you can see, this branch comes up, splits into two. I like that. And then it splits again into two. And I think I'm reaching too far up at that point. I think I need to come out. They're also all over each other. If you look, it's just one stacked line here. Bottom cliff is a little bit weaker, so I'll take that out, give myself some separation. Up the tip here, have this coming out that way, and I think I'll take off top two here, have this one coming back in this way. I'll leave all that little growth in there. It might be that I like that better. That's got that side branch started. Now up here is a little more complicated, so I don't want to lose any of my new branches and ramification. But this is kind of my hot spot, as you can see, with all that scale and yields. Now that these two are very close to each other, these two branches, so I can't keep both. I think that may be the issue that I had is that I had too many branches in one spot. I'm going to take off this one, I think. Yeah. It's going in a good direction, but it's just too close. And I need to free up this intersection. Quite a bit. Appears to be taking care of most of that part. I can't go too hardcore into this thing because it is so weak, um, but should. Oh, another piece here. Piece free of scale and able to grow pretty strongly. So, not a lot came off of it. I'll set that off to the side so we can take a peek should we want to. But it did good. Let's break down one more time. And while that soaks, I'm going to we'll trim it on this guy. This guy grew, guy grew pretty well. Um, we got some like dead stuff, but I'm not going to go too heavy into trimming it. Just get off some of these unnecessary ones like down here. I don't want that on this side as well. I got some stuff coming down not the direction I'm taking this tree in and I will have to repop this one soon but for now I'm not going to mess with the roots. You can see in here I've got crossing branches that just didn't make it. Didn't make it. I don't think that made it. Nope. Just didn't make it. One up here did not make it. I've got one on top that didn't make it. And here is ends dead but the branch itself is still alive. Oof. That made trimming up that branch pretty easy. Even this one next to it. Sorry, I dropped my soap. Um, this one started in a funny direction, so I'm going to take the tip off it just to keep it coming back out. 
and this one as well. I keep it coming out. So take the top off, keep going back out. This is dead too. And he's coming back towards the center. I'm just going to take it off. So those two branches kind of have their own way now. This leaf shading out that branch below it. So I've got this one here. It is doing pretty good. Um, it's unfortunately growing in on itself as well. So I'm going to take this off. And just the tip there. Get it growing back that other way because this side did not make it. Up here, all these branches appear to be pretty healthy, but I just want the one that's coming outwards, so I'm going to go ahead and take the top off that. And this is kind of growing in. I don't want that old leaf either. I think I could just lose it and call it a day, but I'll try taking the tip off and see if it doesn't just die back. No, I'll leave that. It's good, strong growth. I can see in here now I've got a little new one I didn't want, and the dead one right here I don't want. Just stub here. And kind of leave the rest of that branch. This is probably my strongest branch right here, but I don't want it to be quite so strong. I don't have as much growth down low as I'd like. I need to be careful about that. Because these trees die back sometimes when you prune them. There's more dead stuff in here I can take off. Make it easier on myself. Alright, so I think with this one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it, this little side branch here, and then anything else that's spreading out. So that can come off, it's vertical, come back in. Two vertical. So leaves. And then over here, this is kind of going all over the place. That's too far over. That's okay. I'll take off the tip. This one's okay, and this one's all right. Tip, see what happens. Oh, got a little vertical part here. Take that off. Just shadowing out the branch, and while I'm not super happy with it, it could be worse. In fact, I'm gonna take off this whole top here because it needs to be lower. And now it's not so bad. I don't mind that little leaf. All right, come back up. I got a little bit extra growth here. I do not want, so I'll take that off. And then let's get this one though. It's a pretty easy one. Dead, dead. Splits here and comes back towards the center. I don't want that, so I will cut it back to that one facing bud. We'll see what happens. Might just back bud there for us. This dead stuff is. And the upright part of that is just a little too upright. So I'm going to take it off to outward facing here. And then outward facing here. I'm going to trim off this little spot there. We'll see if that makes it. If it doesn't, that's life, but I think that branch is a little too vertical, and it should be fine. I've got buds that have already started out there. All right, come back around to this one. I don't want this sort of leaping part here. It's going too far down, and this one I think I can take off the tip and encourage some more growth up. A little leaf here that I hope you guys can see. Ooh, I'll take that off too. Just the leaf here. And then I really need to get it spreading out, so I'm going to take the end off that branch as well. I want to leave some green, but it doesn't have to be a lot of green. This one I can see a cluster of buds down here, so I'm going to take it back there. I think I'll leave this one as well, just taking off the tip. See what happens with all this. I knew. Dead bit. Dead bit. And then I've got my crown here. I'm going to try to keep working with that. Pop off here. I'll let this one be a little more vertical. And I'm just going to take off right here. 
So not very impressive of a tree anymore, but it will grow back. Now it's time to soak this one down and get all that soap off. Fertilizer, just a little bit, and I'm move on to the last tree. Set these to the side now. Thoroughly rinsed. All right, this one I took a lot more off. Pile back here. Again, this one doesn't have any pests on it, but it needs to prune up because it has a lot of unnecessary branches. So I'm going to start with my selected leader here. Clean up the base of that. So I've got an extra very vertical shoot coming off here. Get that out. An extra horizontal here underneath in the little ditch. I don't want that either. This branch here is also kind of gone all over the place. I'm going to start by taking the top strong vertical off of it. And anything another vertical in here. Get that out. This one's coming to the center. And this one's almost crossing back in. Get the tip off of here, just to clean it up again. I will tip off there. A little dead bit there. And again, back over here at my leader, I've got these branches coming out the front here. Definitely don't want that one. And I probably don't want this one either. It's nice strong growth, but it's not where I want it. What I'll do is I'll take it back to these real short inner nodes and just see what happens there. And let's make sure I've got this all cleaned up. It's getting there. It's healing nicely from the last time I pruned it, which I'm pleased with. Over here, again, I've got this one that's coming back in. I don't want it. It's not in a good place. It's one underneath here that isn't in a good place. Get that. My vertical one. Eventually, I'll have to carve this down, but I'm not worried about it yet. Give it that little snip. And this, here's just be growing up, and I'm fine with that. I can't tell if this is still alive. I don't think it is. Yeah, it wasn't. I need to free this up in order to get myself some more growth. I won't prune this back because I want to get a lot of growth in here and thicken this up and start to take over this top here. If I'm really lucky, I won't have to trim this down at all. The tree will just grow over it. This here. Um, this is the one that I carved out for the little bit. So we'll see what happens. I've got good root growth, but of course, that's you know never a sure thing. I will take off the Outside leaves here. See a little bit of what's going on. I don't want it to come out. But I do like these nice short bare So we'll see what happens. Mm, might be a nice back branch. I'll leave it for now. Just drop this little leaf on the inside here. And then an old leaf here. This might be the continuation of the trunk here instead of this, but I want to keep this growing. Um, I'm trying to do is a rather, well, you know what, let's see, I believe it for now, do it in a rather traditional way, growing one branch up like this, burn it off, turn it in it, and then just kind of going the opposite. So this is a nice looking branch started here, I think. Um, we'll see how it grows. And this one, of course, I took off a lot more. And since I've got so much off of it, I can give it a better water. I'll do that. I'll soak it in. Fertilizer, water, all that stuff. This one's grown nicely. This is the ficus ginseng. So I did my two little of ficus, one willow leaf, and then one ginseng ficus, or ficus microcarp, I believe. This one doesn't appear to be grafted, but this might be a graft down here. I can't tell. But it's doing all right. I will probably want to carve these out a little bit more, but as they grow, we'll just see what happens. They are growing roots, and they seem to be growing at a rate where I can control the growth at least reasonably. 
So we'll just go with that. You know what? Oops, like this. I got this top leaf here too. There we go. All right. It doesn't look like much, but it's a start. So put these all back up here. Ooh. Do a little comparison. So these came from here, that came from there. And I did not prune my Talisera little leaf, but just left it as it was. So that's them. Little lump here, little lump there, and then just those couple branches for here. But I think they're all going to grow strong. They're ready for the, the winter in the, what I call my plant room. It's more of a laundry room. But I'll show you guys that later. I appreciate you all sticking with me, joining me. I appreciate anybody who watched this whole video. Um, and it's just important to take care of pests as it is to prune. Uh, I did some pruning because I could, and it will help me to water them throughout this winter. But really, none of these needed pruning um, other than to clear out some dead stuff. They weren't growing nearly strong enough that I would normally prune them if it wasn't for the pest control that needed to be done. Um, hopefully these will all make it. I've had all these for at least a year, with the exception of this one, but I have no doubts it'll make it. Uh, so we'll just see what happens next year. Appreciate you all for joining me. Cheers. Take care. Thank mm -hmm. you.